Hey, good afternoon, JCPS. Happy Friday. I know a lot of you are off today. Hopefully you're resting up, enjoying the beautiful day, but we wanted to wrap up the week. And I am here at Doss High School, my old stomping ground as principal. And the reason I'm here is because I wanted to stop by and celebrate um, Wednesday was School uh, Custodian Appreciation Day. And there is no doubt one of my favorite custodians that I've ever had the chance to work with is Audrey Trotter, otherwise known as Peaches here at DOS. So I came out here to thank Peaches personally to represent all of the custodians in this district and the great work that they do for our kids and our schools. We couldn't do this work without them. So um, Peaches, you're one of the best. You've been here for how many years now? 18 years. 18 years. And so what's your favorite part about being a custodian at DOS? My favorite part about being a custodian at DOS is most of all is working with the staff and being around the children and miss being with you. <laughs> Thank you, Peaches. <laughs> Peaches is one of the best. She does great work here. Um, when I would finish every day here uh, at DOS, she would stop by my office and see how things are going. And so couldn't do it without you, Peaches. And to all the custodians out there, thanks for all your great work. We appreciate what you all do. Another important news coming out this week, obviously we all know state accountability scores came out this week. Um, and we do have some things to celebrate here in JCPS. And, and we would like to highlight those things. First of all, um, our graduation rate here in JCPS is the highest it's ever been, over 82% along with our transition readiness rate for our graduating seniors went up significantly. So we're proud of that work. We do know we have a lot of work to do um, and we're continuing that work. We've built that foundation this year, a lot of change throughout JCPS. We're confident these systems and structures in place are really gonna move our schools as we move into the years to come. Our principals, our staff are working extremely hard. We have a commitment to literacy and numeracy and we're gonna see that um, significantly improve. And obviously we're really working on reducing those CSI schools. So we know there's a lot of work to be done. Um, we're in the middle of that right now and we're confident we're gonna see great results in the near future. Um, had other busy week this week, Tuesday night, public forum. JCPS, thanks to all those who came out and our board members. I don't think you're gonna find any elected officials uh, who are more dedicated to being um, out there um, and being open for um, conversations with community members. Um, in, in a public forum, and we did that this week, got a lot of feedback on facilities, student assignment, once again, thanks for all they were coming out. A Couple other um, things I'd like to highlight. I was out at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport this week. They are our new Academies of Louisville Business Partners. Thank you, SDF Tours, for doing this. Um, schools like Shawnee, Atherton, and Ballard, now either in aerospace engineering or aviation, have a great business partner to do some incredible work with. Uh, with all of our students. So thanks for that new business partnership with the Academies of Louisville. Uh, thanks for the invitation, Bloom Elementary School for Hispanic Heritage Week. Had a great visit to Bloom Elementary School. And finally, parents, don't forget, Tuesday is parent-teacher conference meeting day at your schools. So get out and make sure you connect with your schools, schedule those times, call your school or 313-HELP if you need any assistance in finding ways to schedule parent-teacher conferences. Important time for parents to be involved at the school. Students, enjoy today, Monday and Tuesday, long weekend, mini break. Get rested up and get ready to come back next week on Wednesday. Have a great extended weekend, JCPS.